This video is sponsored by PCBWay. At the end of the video, I'll show you just how easy it was to use PCBWay's rapid prototyping service to order parts for this project. Hello, and welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and guess what this is? Super awesome. Yes, you guessed correctly. But check this out. This is the Octoblade Propeller Hub V2. Okay, this is 3D printable, and as of right now, you can actually go and uh, download this from rcwithadam.com. They're so beautiful. But this one, instead of using broken propellers, and then you have to like trim all the, the other blades off of there and then reuse the hub, that was dumb. But this one uses the Dalprop uh, folding propeller, I think it's called the Fold 3. Or the Fold 2 or something like that, um, but they're made to be used on Dalprop's propeller hub for, as a tri-blade. But I said, no, 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 no. Three is not enough. We need at least eight of these bad boys on here. So that is what we got. These are seven inch uh, propellers or uh, seven inch in diameter propellers. Uh, that's the size that they're supposed to be. And we have eight of them on here and we have eight plus eight plus eight plus eight which equals one gazillion awesome drone basically we're just gonna fly these around and <laughs> there's a lot of blades right there <laughs> oh, okay let's go gopro on camera on goggles on transmitter on drone plugging in ready to rock and roll hat turning backwards Backwards mode initiated. Goggles on my head. Excellent. Transmitter engaging. Lanyard. Lanyard engaged. Drone picking up. Walking. Setting drone down. Backing away. Power stance activated. Three, two, one, arming. Whoa. This is actually super quiet. It's actually super quiet and um, there's like not a lot of thrust really. That's really crazy. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna do a little punch out here just to show you. So three, two, one, punch out, and now. Wow. She'll still move. She'll move all right, but uh, it's really very smooth. Ooh. A lot of vibration. Like a lot of vibration. It almost seems like it's a little bit better with a little bit more weight on there. Seems a little bit stabler, stabler, a little bit more stable. There it is. there. Got to actually not hit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so I, I do have the amp, uh, I just realized this, I have the amp draw set up on here, but I don't think it's accurate uh, on my OSD, because it's saying like pulling five amps right now, six amps, and I feel like it just has to be pulling more than that. If I do a punch out, it goes up to like, <laughs> it actually, yeah, it'll easily go up to like 40, 50, 60, but uh, I mean, it's, I don't know, it may, 
It might be accurate. It just doesn't seem like it would be that low. That's just very, very surprising. So if I do like a little, like it's higher in the throttle, nine amps, eight amps, 13, 14, nine to 20, 25, 28, 30. Whoa there, that was a, these uh, rates are a little higher than I want them. It definitely is a little bit louder with more weight on there, you know, which is what you'd expect because the motors have to spin more and uh, move more air in order for, the, for it to offset the weight. Um, hello, camera. Hello. Still really quiet though, for what it is. Low, lower pitch sound that you would normally hear with the seven inch props or like the tri-blade seven inch props, stuff like that. It does sound pretty crazy though. Definitely doesn't sound normal. Okay, coming into land. Boom. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Oh, what a cool, just what, doesn't that look cool? Just, I mean, man, wow. And again, you can uh, make this yourself. Uh, you can get the STL files to 3D print this propeller hub. I would use something um, like some extra durable PLA or um, really my preferred thing would probably be like some kind of carbon fiber uh, thing so that it's very rigid. Um, uh, by thing, I mean filament. Thanks for joining me today. Again, check out PCBWay.com below. Thanks for sponsoring this video, PCBWay. And let me know what you want to see next because we're not done with uh, these crazy propeller combinations and stuff. So leave a comment down below what you want to see next and we'll probably do that or something. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe out there. Remember, more props means more better good time. And I'll see you again very soon. And now it's time to order the parts from PCBWay.com. Here we are on PCBWay.com. We're gonna click on the tab that says CNC 3D printing. Click on that. We wanna do 3D printing, so we're gonna click on the 3D printing tab. Now you'll see right here, there's a little menu right here where we can drop our file. So let's go find our file and we'll just drag and drop our file right into this little box and shabwam, there it is. That's what we want. Okay, next we wanna do the quantity. And I think the quantity, let's just keep it simple. Let's do uh, 10. We're going to need at least eight of them, but the quantity of 10 is there. And it's actually pretty inexpensive. Millimeters is the design units, the material. I want to do resin uh, UTR 8100. This is transparent. It looks really nice. And um, yeah, I just, I like that look because then we can actually see the props. It's going to look really awesome. So, but they do have a lot of other options here and they'll show you like a little material description, which is cool. So they kind of tell you what the characteristics are of that material and you can uh, dye it if you would like, um, but it jumps up the price like a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. So we're not going to do any dyeing uh, today. Besides, I just want it to be clear. So we'll do that. Keeping on uh, moving down. We don't have any technical drawings to upload. Uh, we don't have any threads or holes. We don't have any inserts. Uh, we're not doing any silk screening or laser engraving. No assembly. This is just super simple. Wall thickness. Um, I'm going to say yes and yes. So uh, wall thickness risk taken and non-standard print thread risk taken. Well, we don't have any threads, but uh, the wall thickness, they're basically talking about the, the thinnest part of your part. Uh, if they'd actually be able to print that. And if you make it too thin, it could come off of the print during manufacturing and it, it might not turn out well. So basically we're just saying, look, go ahead with it. We're willing to take the risk. Let's see, uh, product description. Oh, this is for customs clearance. Um, I don't remember if I have done this before, but um, I'm gonna say other category. Hopefully that's not a problem in getting it to me through customs. And that's it, we're done. If we wanted to add another one, we could add it right here, but we don't want to. We can scroll back up and on the right-hand side, it says uh, 
subtotal is twenty four eighty nine, and that's their their quote. And then we can click submit request. Oh, it says make sure your files don't contain any of the following. So that's all fine. We'll click agree. And now it's going to take us to log in or sign up. If you haven't, you'll get like a $5 welcome bonus. So that's cool. I'm going to sign in here. So we're up, uh, now it's taking me to this order page, kind of our shopping cart, and it shows uh, the part and the part number and all that stuff. And it says right here for the status is being reviewed. So it's going to be reviewed. They're going to email me uh, or send me a message on this website and let me know um, if there are any problems with it or if it's ready to go. And uh, the price will be updated as well. And then you can just say, yeah, go for it. And then they'll make the part and send it right to you, which is pretty darn cool. And that's all there is to it, folks. If you are working on a project and you need some rapid prototyping services, you might want to check out PCBWay. I'll have a link to them down in the description below this video.